Good morning, good evening, Kevin, and good afternoon. We truly have a banger for you all today, baby. And I'm sorry for stealing your intro, Tim. This was literally my one chance to use it. This is Tim the Tatman, a legendary video game live streamer with over 5 million subscribers on YouTube. Usually during his live streams, he has over 30 to 40,000 people watching at a time. Thank you, bro. Funny video, bro. Uh, yeah, bro. And yeah, he says bro a lot. It's my fault, bro. During one particular live stream, I overheard Tim and some of his friends talking about this idea of Tim starting a protein brand called Brotein. Doc, I just had an idea, bro. What's up? Protein shake. I make my own bro protein. Go, go with yeah. it, man. Now, as a filmmaker myself and a huge fan of Tim's, I knew I had to take this joke way too far. I guess I could pay a comedian to be transformed into Tim's doppelganger and then shoot a protein commercial and try to get Tim to watch it live on a stream in front of his entire audience. Yeah, I'll do that. This guy just gave me, do you guys see this $400 super chat, bro? Well, this is gonna be expensive. So this video is sponsored by Nikon and we'll get into that in a little bit. I spent days going to my local coffee shop, watching old compilations of funny commercials, and eventually I landed on a script that I felt extremely confident in. For any of this to actually work and be good, I'm going to need actors that can actually pull this off. With the most important one obviously being Tim's doppelganger. Luckily, I have a friend who fits the bill, Jaron Myers. Jaron is a full-fledged professional comedian who tours the country, and he also happens to be a viral video specialist. In fact, his very first viral hit was the Chick-fil-A rap, which him and myself filmed together back in 2017. Jaren's a funny dude, he's a great actor, and his voice actually kind of sounds like Tim's. Oh yeah! Yeah! So I gave him a call and pitched him this idea. What do you think, Jaren? Can you be in the video? Oh yeah! After that, I enlisted the help of some friends and my sister to be the other characters in this project. But I can't film this thing by myself. I'm just one dude who's pretty dumb, honestly. So I gotta bring in some big guns. We got Tucker as the lighting master, Dave as the BTS and thumbnail specialist, and our X Factor, Claire the makeup artist. Cause low key, if we can't make Jaren look like Tim, this whole thing is gonna fail. The biggest challenges are gonna be finding a gym and making protein products, figuring out the labeling and stuff. After getting rejected by a couple gyms, I drove to a small local one that was kind of grungy and pitched my idea to them. The gym looks super cool and they actually agreed to work with me on this project, but there was one big problem. They weren't willing to shut down the entire gym for this shoot, but I can't worry about that now. There's too much to plan, so we'll deal with that later. The other two locations were pretty simple to book because one's my desk back there and the other one is a film studio owned by some friends. So the actors are locked in, the locations are booked, but probably the biggest struggle of this pre-production process was making props. But before the arts and crafts, let's open up some props that I paid this video had to have a special guest appearance from none other than Kevin himself. Are you kidding me? Fake tattoos. I may have bought a Dr. Disrespect costume as a little Easter egg. I might just wear this as I'm directing the commercial. Hey, you go over there. You give me a coffee. Directing. Okay, now I'm getting fired up. Ew, this is gross. It's a freaking muscle suit, yeah! <laughs> I get it, fake nipples are super cool. But you know what's even cooler? paying a graphic artist to design protein assets and then figuring out how to put those assets onto real protein products. It's very fun and not stressful. So I took a little trip to Wally World and found some label paper right on that you can literally put in a regular printer, use a template to put your logo on the paper, and then print out stickers that you can just put on anything you want. It wasn't the most high quality thing in the world, but on camera, it totally passed. And that's movie magic, baby. So the props are made, that's off my plate, but now another issue arises. We're shooting this commercial on a camera that I've never touched before, the Nikon Z8. Have you ever shot anything on a Nikon? I've literally never shot a Nikon before. <laughs> that's so great. So. My biggest concerns were getting amazing image quality out of this camera and the 24 to 70 lens and having autofocus that was reliable since I'm the only one operating the camera. So I ran some tests, I tweaked the autofocus settings and I felt confident that we'd be able to get beautiful footage out of this Nikon Z8 camera. The fact that it can shoot 8K is insane, but I opted to go for 4K internal ProRes HQ footage. So I felt confident with the Nikon Z8 and I guess it's time to shoot this thing. This is future Zach here, and I have a couple quick thoughts on the Nikon Z8, but don't worry, hang in there. We might be getting a reaction from Timothy. I, 
I don't know. Just give me a second. Zach, you're a legend, man, but I don't know if I can watch it. It was freaking amazing editing the ProRes HQ footage from this camera. The colors were just beautiful and the skin tones looked natural. I was really happy with the image overall. Here's a few notable things about the camera I discovered while shooting with it. The body is bigger and chunkier than most mirrorless cameras. It's more of a DSLR style body and I love it. It feels great in the hands and it's very rugged. It just feels like a tank in the best way possible. Battery life was really good. The screen is bigger than most mirrorless cameras, so that was a huge plus. And last but not least, the autofocus. It's solid. I slowed down the speed a little bit and I set it to a center zone and it gave it a more human-like focus push and pull. So that was a huge plus for me. That's my thoughts on the camera. If you want a full in-depth review video or something on the Z8, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, let's get back into the drama. Okay, <laughs> update. The guy who owns the gym that we're filming at, which is the most important scene, just texted me and was like, hey, you guys should start earlier if possible. But we can't start any earlier because our makeup artist needs like two and a half, three hours to prep Jaren. So I now have to completely redo the schedule and make sure everybody can do this two days before we film. So I paced around my room. I finally came up with an action plan. Thankfully, all the cast and crew were able to shift their schedules so we can still make protein happen and try to get Timothy the Tat Man to see it. Today's the day. It is 6.52 in the morning. We're about to start this process of getting Jaren all timified, tendered and torqued. Really? Hello. Bro, we are uh, trying to get Tim the Tatman's approval. This is Zach's YouTube promposal. So I am trying to slick his hair back as much as possible. I'm gonna put a bald cap on him and make him look super bald. And then we're gonna tat him up. It's gonna be a good time. You know the level one of a video game where you get to choose what your character <laughs> looks like? <laughs> like the base yeah, character? No yeah. <laughs> the entire shoot hinges on this makeup process. If Claire can't get Jaren to look like Tim, I don't think the idea will hit as hard as I want it to. Clay Aiken should have won <laughs> American Idol 2003. Ruben didn't do sh <laughs> But Claire totally pulled off the Timmy Tenders transformation. Now it's actually time to start recording. When you have a hardworking and busy lifestyle, there's only one thing that'll get you re-energized and ready for games. And that one thing, that one thing, and that one thing, and that one thing, protein. Boom, that was it. So we had scene one filmed. I think probably the hardest part of that scene was trying to catch the product in the right way. We are gonna head to our second location, which is a photography studio. It's always fun, like once you start doing the shots, the rest of the day just kind of rolls. For this project, instead of just using a text shot list, I ended up making a visual storyboard that had example frames of every single shot in the project that I needed to get. And shout out to Danny Gewurz for his video on how to make these storyboards. That was extremely helpful and I highly recommend and you guys start doing this for your projects. This is actually modeled after my body. I was gonna say that's my mold. Too late, sorry, my mold. <laughs> so heavy. It's just a giant meat sack. This looks freaking good, dude. And action. Darren, what's yeah. funnier? So you have the protein, grab it and like throw it, or you could be like, or the salt bay. Ooh. Everything at the film studio was going super smooth, but there was one essential item that we needed to get. The Tim twerk. This is an essential part of Tim's branding. And if we screw this up, I genuinely think we'll piss him off. And twerk. <laughs> <laughs> it's the uh, and twerk. <laughs> But we nailed the shots and the sheer power of Jaren's Tim twerk actually caused his beard to start falling off of his chin. I think we cut it there. Let's cut camera. So we, got, we have to fix this. But we still have to film the gym scene, which is the most important part of the video. So we have to try to fix Jaren's beard so we can actually get Tim to react to this dang video. We should go to like an, like an Ulta or like an actual beauty store. Yes. And be like, fix me. Hi. <laughs> and then you can, kind of like what she was using. Super Strong's strip lash adhesive to uh, fix my eyelashes are a little messed up right now, so. Yeah. And guess what? It totally freaking worked. Jaren's beard is now fixed and we're ready to film the final scene. We're at our final location, Competitive Edge Gym. The ladies coming here to let us in, to shoot our final scenes. I'm really excited. Tucker, are you excited? I'm very stoked, yeah. very stoked. One day you're mine. Gotcha. Not even a thing. The lighting at this gym was straight up booty cheeks, so we had to take some time and set up the lights to try to get this thing to look professional in camera. Yeah, so we have a little Easter egg from the last video. Doc, you know, he could be in the gym working out with Timmy. 
You know, maybe he's got a bro team bar in his pocket. We also have our man Kev vibing down here. He might get a lift in. I got the actors mic'd up. We rehearsed the scene, checked the storyboard. It's go time. Also, before we start, thank you all Shut up. for let's being here. Oh. All right, fine, let's film. What sets protein apart from our competitors? Well, can other proteins do this? Hey, bro. You should try this protein bar. God, yes. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, baby. Yes. One. one big challenge for this scene in particular was transforming Brady from a pathetic gym bro into an absolutely shredded protein beast. We did this using a meat suit that I bought for $400 on Amazon. Lauren, I'm so sorry, babe. I'm going to return it, I promise. We're about to... Uh put a skin suit on Bradley. We tested it yesterday and it didn't go great. <laughs> I need help, dude. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, dude. Yeah, it's very realistic. <laughs> you got to say it, Dude, it's not bad. All right, let's knock out these other shots and get out of this. <laughs> OK. Are you ready for this? Do you want me to stay in Speeding. I love protein. <laughs> and cut, that's it. Yep. Yes. We finished the locker room stuff, but now we got to do some full cast shots some of which required a little bit of stunt action. When I get to like this uh, kettlebell area, okay. that's when you do your kick. Brady, you're gonna just be sparring the whole time, brother bear. Okay, we're rolling on camera. Ready? Brady, start sparring. Action. Proteins for everyone. Whether you're already jacked, a little fat. I mean, even ladies can be bros. <laughs> oh my God. That was like a stunt. That's good. Let's rock with that. Have you told us that this is your <laughs> sister? <laughs> I don't want anybody to know that I have a sister. I understand. We've been working together on films since, I don't know, maybe like five and seven. I was always the villain. <laughs> Except for one time. And we would do stunts off the trampoline. Yeah, it was really fun. Zach has always been creative, and I've always been part of his project. So this is fun. Cheer on. Push it up. Push it up. Go. Come on. Go. There you go. Yeah, that was sick. Do you feel good about that one? Yeah, that's good. All right, that was amazing, guys. Holy crap, good job. After I got everything I needed from my storyboard, I like to give the actors time to just like mess around, come up with their own ideas. And sometimes these improv takes are just way funnier than what I can write on a script. I actually learned this from listening to commentary on Parks and Rec episodes from the old DVDs. And since then, I love giving actors the freedom to just mess around after we get what we need. <laughs> Protein <laughs> 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 on three. One, two, three. Protein! That's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Hope you like the video, Tim. We made it for you. I'm not sure I understand. <laughs> <laughs> The protein video is live now. I just posted it. I'm really trying not to obsess over like the views and stuff because like the success of this kind of a project hinges on me actually getting Tim to see the freaking video. I posted the video on a Monday hoping Tim would go live, but he was nowhere in sight. And to be honest with you guys, I was actually getting pretty anxious. I needed to call a YouTube friend to try to figure out what I should do. I thought Tim was gonna go live today, but he's not. Should I take the video off YouTube and wait until Tim goes live in the next couple days. Yeah, I think you can wait. It's like more so you just need to get to the link when he's live. Well, I appreciate you, dude. I look forward to uh, seeing what happens with the video. Yeah, thanks, dude. Yeah. So talking to Patrick helped a lot, and I decided to just leave Brotein on my channel. I waited two freaking days, but then the man, the myth himself, went live. Good morning. <laughs> How about them cowboys? Ladies and gentlemen, today is premiere day. I'm so nervous right now. We're about to send this protein video to Tim on his live stream. I'm like actually shaking. I don't know why I get so nervous for this. This is the message that I have typed up. Remember when you talked about making a protein brand called Brotein? Well, I decided to make it a reality. I'm a filmmaker from Nashville and I hired a professional comedian to be your doppelganger and shot a full on protein commercial with a cast and crew of eight people. It took a ton of time, energy and resources and it's my gift to the Tatman army for all the good times you've given us. It's on my channel today and would mean the world if you watched it. You won't have any issues with copyright. God bless. I'm literally gonna paste it into the chat right now. Oh wait, is it too long? No, it's too long. I gotta edit it, I gotta edit it. Oh my gosh. I had to scramble to shorten this thing up to still try to get the point across and get him interested in watching the video, but only in a short amount of characters. And I didn't want to look like a desperate 11 year old, so I sent a large sum of money along with the message. I think it's as good as it can be. Okay, I'm gonna get ready to send this. All right, here we go. 
Oh, I just did it. I just did it. Oh, my message has been delivered. Thank you for your purchase. This guy just gave me. Do you guys see this four hundred dollars super chat, bro? Here we go. Here we go. Yo, remember your protein idea? I'm a filmmaker. I created a legit protein commercial with a comedian as your doppelganger. It's on my channel today, and you won't have copyright issues. Whips. <laughs> I'm gonna have to have whips take a look at it, Zach. But I do want to check it out. Zach, you're a legend, man. But I don't know if I can watch it. So I got Tim to read the message. He's interested in watching the video, but because there's music in it, he doesn't want to risk copyright, which I totally understand. So Tim's mod, the infamous Whips, has to preview the video and make sure it's safe to stream. But luckily, I'm an absolute freaking G and I got all my music from royalty free websites, baby. I came prepared for this. Let's go, baby, let's go. Can I get a W for this guy, Zach? I do kind of want to see it, bro, because this could be funny. Whips previewed the video. Whips says it's actually really funny, so. Said it was funny and then this happened. Is it safe? Can I watch it, Whips? This guy apparently made a protein commercial. All right, just like me and we'll roll the die. Yes! Oh, this guy, Zach, has like a hundred thousand subscribers by the way yeah baby we about to cross it i made tim the tap man this bro teen commercial yeah baby oh there's no way they got this guy okay dude <laughs> When you have a hardworking and busy lifestyle, there's only one thing that'll get you re-energized and ready for gains. That one thing, protein. <laughs> What sets protein apart from our competitors? Well, can other proteins do this? Hey, bro, you gotta try this protein bar. Um, okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> bro! Low key? I love protein. That's what I'm talking about, baby. There's no way, dude. for everyone. Whether you're already jacked, a little fat. I mean, even ladies can be bros. Key, protein's better than whatever you're using right now. So go ahead and make the switch. Side effects include insane gains, baldness, <laughs> diarrhea, blindness for some people, sight for others, Benjamin Button disease, RJ Samson's <laughs> disease. They're not really sure what happens, but for some reason everything smells oh like a ham sandwich. It may make you susceptible Even had to fall Kevin, damage. dude. Even had Kevin. Consume your own risk. Hey, be sure to tell someone you love them. And try some protein today. Right, Kevin? Super funny. Okay. Yes. Zach, that was awesome. Here, I'm going to link it so you guys can see it. Yes! He's putting it in the chat, too. Thank you, Tim. Bro, the attention to detail on, like, everything, that was so good. Like the video! Like and sub. We about to cross 100K, baby.